So welcome back to one more session of the biomolecules chapter. So we've already studied about the carbohydrates where we said it is uh, divided into monosaccharides, disaccharides, polysaccharides, oligosaccharides, the classification with that. So now after that, I gradually went into a topic called amino acids and proteins, right? After that, I also dealt with a topic called enzymes. After completing enzymes, we'll be coming back to the last but one topic that is vitamins. So when vitamin topic, basically your vitamin topic is uh, like you'll be questioned on the deficiencies of vitamins. Uh, it is not a biological chapter. Basically, in chemistry, you'll be asked what is it, what happens when this particular vitamin is deficient in your body, or it will be given in the form of a value-based equation. So not to worry, nothing to practice with the structures and everything of vitamins. Maybe biological stu biology students will have this, but for you as being a chemistry student, you should know what are the deficiency defects of vitamins. That's it. So let us come back. So when vitamin is asked to me, how will I define vitamin? Basically, vitamin, if you have to define, vitamins are a class of carbon compounds. Okay, right. Vitamins are a class of carbon compounds. Okay, fine. Which, what is the use or what is the role of this? They are or they, the quantity which is required by the body is a minimum amount. But important, very important if, the def, if there is some certain deficiency, the body is going to show that deficiency which we call it as A vitaminosis, right. So what do you call, there are class of organic compounds or class of carbon compounds, yeah, of low molecular weight, fine, which are required in minimal quantities by body minimal quantity by the body by our bodies okay well quantity by our body fine so basically we very well know i said vitamin is uh, when we speak about the structures they can they consist of carbon it is understood and how much do we require we require in a minimum quantity but they are essential as i said and uh, the requirement or the molecular weight when i compare with the larger mole biomolecules which are about thousand thousand daltons the molecular weight of vitamins a bit less for example if i speak <coughs> vitamin k right vitamin k which is used as in clotting agent right and uh, when you when you start bleeding or something vitamin k acts as an anti-clotting agent or anti-clotting vitamin it has a molecular weight of almost 550.7 gram per mole yes so for proteins when you're comparing gram per mole at dalton it is the same yeah for biomolecules we very well know it ranges from 100 to 1000 daltons and about 1000 daltons also so daltons or gram per mole almost the same in proteins so it's ranging the molecular mass of vitamins is very low let us come back what should you write vitamins are low molecular weight com uh, carbon compounds whose requirement is minimum in a body but you know they should be present in the required quantity fine this i understood the definition after this definition basically vitamins we uh, or name it with using english alphabets that is a d c okay right i'll write it in this way because i'll write it in a sequence or a series if it is easy so vitamins are named as a b c d e k don't be confused. I just wrote, I erased it there because I want to show it in the alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, and K. Yes, this particular word, vitamin, was introduced to us by Dr. Funk. F U N K Funk. This is the, this was the person who has introduced this term for us, and we have been using this for different, uh, explaining different uh, this in uh, the deficiencies, the structure of the compound, how is it acting, where is it present. Now, this is how you are going to show the uh, representation for vitamins. Basically, where are these present vitamins? Almost the, all the cells of our body contain minimum quantities of vitamins, right? Minimum quantity. Some are, again, absorbed from the diet what we consume daily. So, this particular vitamin, again, are further classified. Now, I said it is A, B, C, D, E, K, correct? Yes. Now, let us write <coughs> your vitamin. How are they classified? They are, again, classified into two. What are they? So, let us write the uh, classification of vitamins. 
classification of vitamins vitamins are again classified into fat soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins yes okay. fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins now <laughs> when i come back to fat soluble vitamins basically your fat soluble vitamins what did i say your whole vitamins are represented by a d or a b c d a b c d e and k correct e and k among these observe i've divided into two your fat soluble <coughs> vitamins are a d e and k remember again your fat soluble vitamins are a d e and k your water soluble vitamins are vitamin c and vitamin b so vitamin b and vitamin c right so we have already seen the classification of uh, your vitamins and i've also shown you written a tableau column for the deficiency diseases which we get if we have we uh, if there's an inadequate uh, intake of the vitamins right let us come back and discuss one more topic right so uh, as i said vitamins are classified into fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins yes so we have already classified fat soluble vitamins into a d e and k right and what are soluble vitamins as vitamin b and vitamin c correct yes so on what what is the basis for this uh, like how much does a person require these vitamins basic basically the requirement of vitamins for every person depends upon the age right if the, uh, an, a student or a teenager who is you know that's a growing age right for those students or uh, uh, the category between 30 and 40 will require certain amount of supplements <clears throat> 20 and 30 it depends on the age group higher the metabolic rate more is the requirement of vitamins remember that so your vitamin intake depends upon two factors one is your age yeah as i mentioned just now and one is your metabolic rate so how fast is your metabolic rate based on that your vitamin requirement also depends right so um, here when i see or when i come into the details of this fat soluble and water soluble vitamins your <coughs> what uh, vitamin a basically the precursor yeah the precursor of vitamin a what is precursor pro vitamin as i said from where do where can i get vitamin a we can get vitamin a from carotene where is this keratin present the present in your carrots correct your green leafy vegetables carrots and all these contain the uh, rich in uh, vitamin a right so when i speak about vitamin d so vitamin d e we, we always we everybody says you know vitamin e india uh, is you know uh, though we have a lot of sun here compared to the foreign countries we still have vitamin d deficiency this is what people say right so vitamin d def vitamin d is synthesized in cells in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight this is sunlight so in sunlight we we and the body body cells can synthesize our uh, synthesize vitamin d yes. when i come back to vitamin e vitamin e is present in green leafy vegetables right green leafy vegetables and it is also present in most of the oils right we said no vitamin e oil yes now when we speak about vitamin k vitamin k also is present in green leafy vegetables okay yes and one important thing why i'm trying to explain all this is <coughs> vitamin k and vitamin b very important noted this question vitamin k and vitamin b b and k are synthesized by microorganisms are synthesized uh, i sometimes get stuck okay synthesized by microorganisms where are they synthesized the synthesized in the intestinal tract the microorganisms which are present in the intestinal tract also synthesize between b and k 
interstinal tract okay simple remember this i gave you this so that if you ask for one mark you can remember right so vitamin b and k so synthesis as i said we call it as colon bacteria correct intestinal tract bacteria also colon so synthesized by colon bacteria done so here when we come back to b as i said just now vitamin b also again we have varieties of classes of vitamin b which i have shown earlier so please go through and vitamin b again is present in your uh, one one it, it is a series of vitamin b complexes right so you also, uh, also have sources like vitamin b is present in brown rice that is why they say high source of vitamin b is, please try to consume brown rice so that you not get blisters in your um, uh, this oral cavity so vitamin B again is also produced by the microorganism present in the intestinal tract correct now next important thing is vitamin C ascorbic acid so vitamin C present in citrus fruits yeah as this is a uh, water soluble vitamin it is not stored in a body and it is al already always you know uh, it's uh, removed from through the urinary tract right it's get, uh, it is not stored our, our body can't synthesize uh, vitamin c because it is already a water soluble vitamin through your your uh, this in uh, kidneys filtration it's just uh, thrown out that's why they said why is vitamin c not soluble in water you should just start because of its property of dissolving in water yes so all these vitamins which i said why am i explaining all this this particular concept of vitamins you will be getting questions only either on classification or they may ask you your deficiency syndromes deficiencies of vitamins why because I, in the in my earlier class of this vitamins i've given you tabular columns one for the water soluble vitamins and one for the fat soluble vitamins in that i have classified the category of the vitamins and deficiency syndromes remember that deficiency syndrome is what the board is going to ask you they'll ask what is anti-clotting vitamin vitamin k what is sun, sunshine vitamin uh, your vitamin d what is, which vitamin causes uh, um, is a night blindness right vitamin a right zero phthalmia like that you will be asked from the other way your symptoms will be given you should be able to write the uh, type of vitamin so please practice the table properly you, they may ask you from anyway because biomolecules is basically three marks chapter correct from that three marks let us not lose the three marks because it is an easy chapter so practice all the symptoms uh, or the deficiency is caused by the vitamins and uh, and please uh, uh, try to attempt this question so this is it with your vitamins for your grade 12 and uh, let me meet you again with the nucleic acids.